welcome to me paintings i'm veronica me and today i prepared another exciting project for you thank you so much for your positive feedback on my latest video i'm very happy you enjoy my bubble balloon acrylic pour and today i will be making something similar but a little bit different with water drops and some beautiful blue shades as you can see i'll be using these types of colors these are from Arteza, I will put the links down in the description box for you if you'll be interested. And lots of you ask me to show you how I mix my colors, so let's do it. I'll show you what I do. The great thing is you don't need that many, that such big amount of colors, just a little bit. And it creates beautiful art. So I put a little blob in my little cup. This is Velo Blue. And then I'm using this pouring medium from Lucas and it says you should create, you should mix one part of acrylic color and three parts of pouring medium. So let's do that. I'll put like quite a lot of pouring medium in and then I start mixing it all together like this and you need to make sure it's completely mixed together you don't want any lumps in there so looks like it's mixed and then what i do i also add a little little bit of water just a little squeeze and it makes it more fluid like this See, it do, it, it's not even dripping, it's, it's fluid, but not too much. If it was too fluid, it wouldn't work that well. So it's always better to mix it a little bit longer than shorter. Yep, this looks like a good, good consistency. So now I will put one drop of silicone oil in each color because I don't mind cells so it's nice oops this is new oh I need to this is all the way. so one drop one 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 in my white as well and then I just stir it a little bit so this is velo blue this is beautiful turquoise color this one is cerulean blue, this one is pearl sapphire blue, blue beautiful color, pearl sapphire blue. And then I put my white, I mix a little bit more white because I will be pouring my white on the bottom of my canvas which is size I think 40 time, 45 centimeters times 45 centimeters, so quite big but not as big as I sometimes do. So let's just put a little bit of that white, but keep some white for later on. Then you take your balloon. This is an old one, I don't have new one, but it doesn't matter. And you just put your white everywhere. Spread it around your canvas and don't put too much white on there. Otherwise, you end up with just big, big blobs of color and that probably wouldn't work. Make sure your white is everywhere and that's done. Now, I've got two types of balloons, small one, small one and bigger one. And I'll be doing these bubble balloons on my canvas. And also, what's useful, prepare a little cup with water where you'll be washing your balloons. So I start with this Velo Blue, the darkest color, which I have a few little blobs here and there. And I'll use my bigger balloon for spreading it everywhere. And you can already see it created beautiful beautiful bubble balloons and this will symbolize water drops Now I'm 
going to wash my balloon and use this cerulean blue few drops here and there and again Then here's my sapphire blue, a little bit. Last one, my teal turquoise, few drops. Now little blobs of white as well. And few little drops of Dalo blue and my bigger balloon. So that's done and it looks like this now but when it gets dry the Thalo blue will get much darker and I will start embellishing these beautiful bubble balloons. So stay tuned! Now my pour is dry after a week and I just need to decide where to put my bubbles now and for that I will be using this is from yogurt and it helps me to uh, draw beautifully round circles but you don't have to do this you can draw them by hand but this is the easiest and fastest way how to do that and i'll be using my white board marker which i got in local store it was cheap one just one euro and it at the end this won't be visible so you don't have to worry about wiping it off it's just to see where the bubbles will be I don't recommend using permanent marker because if you make a mistake you won't be able to get it off. So this whiteboard is good for this kind of project. And when you make a mistake, you can take wet wipe and just wipe it off like this, which is good. I just wanted to show you how it works. Then you have to wait till this gets dry and you can continue.
And now it's time to turn your bubbles into beautiful water drops. It will look like this and I'm gonna start with these top ones, the, the ones which are on the top because then it will be easier for me to decide where the shades will be. And you'll just need white and black acrylic color. And the shade, the light source is coming from this way, so I'm gonna start with black and then with white and some reflection. Once you figure it out, out you'll find out it's quite easy. So let's show you this one. I'm starting with black on the top. Like this. Then I put my brush in water and just make the nice shading. And here comes the white part. So. And the white reflection, reflection which will be on the top here. And here you have got your beautiful water drop. I'm gonna continue with all the top ones and the bottom ones and show you the finished result. At the beginning I wanted to keep my background white, but I decided to turn it into dark background because I think it will give my water drops more contrast and it will look nicer. So I mixed my dark color, um, my Velo blue and this thin blue primary 
and create a background for my watch drops. Yeah, that will look much nicer with darker background. I might use bigger brush. And here's the result of my water drop balloon acrylic pour. I'm so in love with this method. It looks so 3D and it's so much fun to create this. Although it's quite easy and anybody can do it if you practice and if you make the right consistency of your colors, I'm sure you'll end up with a beautiful piece of art. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. Thank you very much for watching and for your support. And if you like this, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or join my Facebook group Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you again for everything and see you soon. Bye!